This is a teardown of a Dell branded APC AP6015 PDU. This is a passive PDU and it's a, uh, I call it a compact form factor. So this has a total of eight ports and is um, rack mountable, but this doesn't mount in normal square hole racks if memory serves correct because the spacing's weird. I believe it's mounts to the uh, side of the rack. And I'm going to use my drill on this just because I know good and well these screws will be tight from experience. So this will be a little bit noisy, so fair warning to you headphone watchers. I'm going to try to keep it down to the minimum though. Oop. This is an impact driver. and. Uh, I believe they've used their fair share of Loctite on these. Plus they get these extra tight. Now, you could use this as a non-rack mounted PDU if you wanted to. Um, but there's plenty of other rack mount options that are probably nicer than this. If you don't have the proper um, hole spacing for mounting this on a rack. Oops. Number one. So I took off the mounting bracket. Now I'm going to take off the cover. Alright, I think that should do her. Oh, I'm blind. Missed a screw. There we go. And there's the internals of this. Here's a really nice bus bar set up for the uh, connections between the outlets. And this is a cluster of four and this is a cluster of three. Everything is uh, spade terminals. Got your breaker here and your input. Honestly, if you don't have a use for this for your rack, these also would be a good source of parts if you want to do some custom stuff. Like for this input jack, you can uh, remove the connections. And then there's usually, might not be able to focus on that, it's too dark in there. There's some like little pins, spring loaded pins that uh, spread apart to lock this into place. Same with the uh, outputs. You can see those gaps where the light's coming through. And that's where the locking tab is. So if I had an appropriate tool, basically what you can do though is you can push down on that and uh, it'll go below the lip of the metals, which is somewhere around here. I can push these out. And then yeah, if you wanted to make your own custom outlets, you could uh, cut appropriate size hole in your own custom enclosure and make something kind of neat. But uh, yeah, pretty straightforward, not much to see. Hopefully that was interesting and thanks for watching.